Hi everybody, welcome to Nine's Corner. I know it's not my normal night to do readings. I generally do them Sunday, Wednesdays, and then Friday or Saturday, depending on what's happening the weekend. But I had so many people emailing me and texting me and telling me that Ghislaine Maxwell has been arrested, which kind of freaked me out because if you saw my Trump video, my last video about Trump, I had asked what was the judgment about. I got the Six of Cups and in the little screen I put a picture of Epstein, uh, Maxwell and his wife, Melania, which I thought was very interesting that that was something that was a regret of his and then all of a sudden today she's been arrested. So we're going to do a, a reading about her ASAP, but before I get to that I have to let everybody know that Marie from Marie's Table is not going to be online for a couple of days. She unfortunately had some kind of lightning strike and it took out her internet. So she will be back, just letting everybody know where she's to. Hi, Marie. <laughs> so guys, we need to do a reading into this Maxwell lady. Ghislaine, Ghislaine Maxwell. What is going to be the result now that she has been arrested? And I'm, I'm just like, Bill Barr tried to, um, or he did, he got Jeff Berman fired thinking that, you know, maybe that would help the case. Because don't forget, Barr has connections. He has connections to Epstein of his own. He has connections because his father hired Epstein when Epstein was like 20 for some kind of um, uh, school professor, professor job that he wasn't qualified for. And uh, Barr's legal law firm was the ones that dealt with Jeffrey Epstein's first case that got him off like pretty much scot-free. So Barr should have rec recused himself and yet he's still involved. And I find it very interesting that he's, that he's still able to work. The fact that him and Trump get away with everything that they've gotten away with Wow, but a win nonetheless, she's been caught. And let's see what's going to happen because I did look at her numerology and her numerology, she's in a personal year of five. So that's when everything and anything that can happen will happen. It's almost like this fives are the times when you kind of, you end up having to pay back what you didn't pay forward. She's in a personal month of three for July, but come September, she'll be in a personal month of five and a personal year of five. So I think if anything big's gonna happen with her, you're probably gonna see it going in towards September. Now, she has the nine, so she's supposed to be the humanitarian, but obviously she's not. So if you look at the shadow side of nine, well, you can imagine the side, shadow side of a humanitarian. That's somebody who takes and she has a soul urge of three, and threes can be very um, devilish when it comes to their sexuality and their wants and their needs. So I think her numbers, even though I try to read most people's um, numerology on the positive side, and her numerology I read on the negative side. So, oh, not a good character, I tell you. She is... A nice queen. She keeps her emotions to herself. Um, she is very strongly a Capricorn, so it's all about money, prestige, things. She's very materialistic. And if you can hear it right now, it's starting to rain. And I'll see how long it's going to, uh, if it's just a shower or if it's going to actually start coming. Oh, I got trees covering me, so maybe I'll get away with her for a minute. Or not, because it's starting to rain a lot right now. Uh -oh. Do you hear the thunder? Okay, so we're going to have to move. I'll be right back. <laughs> Hi, guys. We're back. Yes, it's raining, so I had to relocate in the garage. So if you hear some shuffling, that's just Spock. So let's get into our rating of Ghislaine Maxwell, because this arrest is huge. Fact is, Bill Barr had uh, gotten Jeff Berman fired, and I think it has a direct link to this case. And I think the fact that um, Ghislaine Maxwell was able to stay in the States 
was because she thought that she had enough mo money, power, influence, and knowledge, and you know enough leverage that they that Bill Barr would just take care of business, and he wasn't able to. And now she's arrested. So let's see. Okay, we're starting off with the Five of Cups. This is sorrow. This is loss. This is disappointment. She feels sorry that she got caught. She's got two ways of thinking. I think she's thinking there's two paths. Either she is going to talk or she's going to try to get out of this through her money, her influence, and literally this could be her trying to escape from the country somehow, some way. Underneath it all is the weight. There is so much to this story. It is being done under the cover of night. She has the weight of the world on top of her. She knows it. On top of it, she's got the Queen of Pentacles. So she's hoping that she has the money and resources to get herself out of this. That's why she was so brazen to be able to stay. In the past, you have the Three of Pentacles. Three is very dominant in her numerology, and I think this is an example of the excess lifestyle that she and Epstein and had and shared with others. This is such, oh, it's just such an awful, ooh. This is what's coming. This is in the near future, justice. She is going to have to pay the piper. Winning at all costs. So she is going to... I don't know that she's necessarily going to tell complete truth. I think she's going to hold a lot back and try to only say what she thinks is necessary to say. Uh, I, but this is just the beginning of it because she's got justice after her. The others around here, there's a lot of people that are hoping and wishing that this is going to bring forth... Um, the SEX ring that's been happening and you know Jeffrey Epstein is not the first nor will he be the last but he is somebody who has the names of a lot of big players including Trump Clinton uh, Prince Andrew who I thought was funny that they were saying oh they'd like to get Prince Andrew to come in and have a conversation and I did a reading on Prince Andrew and said like you know him he and the Queen and everybody they're gonna try to stay clear of all this mess to the best of their ability Ooh, her hopes and fears is the Ace of Swords. So she is really hoping that she is going to be able to get a decision to fall in her favor. She is going to be cutting. She is going to hold her truth up to those who don't want her to tell her truth. Three of Wands waiting for her ships to come in. I think that she has some plan, some um, knowledge of an ability to try to get out of this, to get away from there. Like, I don't know. It just, it just feels like it's almost like she has some knowledge, plan, or acceptance that, you know, she has a way out of this somehow. She's waiting for her ships to come in. She's waiting for somebody to take care of her. Now, if that was Bill Burr, he failed. He failed miserably. Will she end up telling on some people? Will she talk and tell on Epstein and the whole thing? Because, I mean, you know, she wasn't just somebody who got the girls for him. She participated. So no matter what, she's going to do jail time unless, all right, let's look. Is she going to talk? Seven of Swords. Again, she wants to win at all costs. This is treachery. This is sneaking. This is underhanded action. I think that no matter what she says, we're going to have to take it with a grain of salt because I don't believe her intent is to come forth and to actually be helpful. I think she will only say what she has to say because she wants to try to um, 
figure out a way to get away from here. It's almost like she already has this plan in place to try to get away. How How is Bill Barr feeling about it, past, present, and future? How is Bill Barr feeling about everything? Three of Cups. I think he thought that he could get this all um, underhand. This is the past. So he thought he could be successful in keeping the plan, keeping Jeffrey Epstein and that whole scenario out of the limelight. And for a while, he actually did. Presently, he has strength. So he is going to push forth. He's going to... Um, he's going to push his agenda and see this through. It's almost like he has to have the control. He has to have the patience to see this through. There's a personal a personal connection with it. Ooh, ooh, justice. Okay, so does this mean he's going to see justice because his hand has been in the cookie jar and caught in the cookie jar and this is going to take Bill Barr down? Or is this justice? Because I got justice for Giselle, too. Is Bill Barr going to turn? I don't think so. What does justice mean to Bill Barr? What does justice mean to Bill Barr? Judgment. Bill Barr is in trouble, guys. He's going down. He's got the judgment on him and justice. <gasps> you... Three major... Wait, hold on now. Out of five cards I picked for Bill Barr, I've got four majors. Ooh, Bill Barr, you are in huge trouble. You are going to be going through a transformation. You are going to be judged. Justice is coming for you. Bill Barr, this is going to get you in so much trouble. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you can't make this stuff up. You really and truly can't, you know. I hope... Okay. I hope you understand when I ask this question what I mean by this question. Because Bill Barr supposedly saw, saw Epstein before Epstein committed suicide. Will Bill Barr visit with Mrs. Maxwell? Will he actually go and visit with her? Seven of Wands. There would be a lot of pushback on him to do anything. He's going. He's got a lot of people who are um, fighting against him, but he's almost like he's going to stand his ground. So he may. He may actually try to go and see her. He might try to temper things out. Try to balance things out. Try to see, at least, get an inkling as to where she's coming from. And he wants those secrets to stay hidden. Guys, we got to keep an eye on Bill Barr and what Bill Barr is going to be doing with this information. And what will Trump be feeling and thinking about this? Past, present, and future. What will Trump think about this? Oh my God! You... Justice for her, justice for Barr, ju okay guys, justice. Woo! Page of Swords, there's going to be information coming out. This is for Trump. We've got justice. We've got the Ten of Swords taking him down. This is the Page of Swords coming out with information and truth. Oh my goodness. Will Trump be indicated? Will Trump, will information about Trump come out through this Maxwell, uh, through this Maxwell arrest? Or will it come out? Will, you know what, well, doesn't matter when. Will information about Trump come out? 
there's information. He's waiting for his ships to come in. There's information out there. It might be things that he's done overseas. He's the fool. He's done foolish things. Oh, Lord. Page of Wands. So this is somebody who knows something, has the information. Eight of Cups. This could be another, on top of, you know, 100,000 reasons for Trump to leave. This is yet another nail in the coffin, guys. So, my video stopped. I had to restart again. Retrograde is having a ball with me. <laughs> oh, I hope I get this video out after all this trouble. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna ask it yet again. Is Trump going in August? Is Trump going away in August? Is Trump going away in August? Is Trump going away in August? Ooh, holding on. <gasps> Justice. Truth. On a world stage completion. Oh. Knight of Swords brushing in. Two paths. Two situations. Oh my God. Okay, hold on now, I'm, I'm getting myself confused. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What will, what's his wish? <gasps> he is frightened to death that this is all gonna fall apart. Oh my gosh. He's gone, guys. He's gone. Okay. We start off. Where is he? He's trying to hold on. That's where he is right now. What's covering him? Justice. He ain't getting away with dick squat nutting, guys. He's gone. I, I feel so certain. Oh, my God. Please let me be right. Please let me be right. Please let me be right. On the bottom, truth. Ahead of him. On the top of him is the world. The world is coming on top of him. Conclusion. Behind, he had the ability to, to get the passion to go through. Now he's just being foolish. He's rushing in. He's making poor decisions. He's going it alone. He's trying to figure out which way is he going to go. He wants to get out of this, and this is the potential for him leaving. People are trying to figure out. They don't want to see the truth, but the truth is coming. They're trying to weigh out the situation. How do they get rid of him and try to keep the Republican Party going? It is going to crash, burn, boom, gone. And in August, my friends, four of swords. Rest, relax, Trump. You've done enough. Believe me, everybody who's watching this video truly believes you've done enough. It's time for you to rest. Guys, we all need to put all of our energies into manifesting Trump being gone in August. And let me explain something. I know a lot of people talk about manifestation and all that kind of stuff. What they forget to tell you is that you can't manifest in a bad feeling. You can't go from feeling sad to feeling happy. You have to get through those steps. So you need to go, you know what? You need to let go of all the negativity about Trump. You have to go, okay, you know what? Let go of all of it. Picture yourself saying, Trump is gone in August. And then feel that feeling of like, oh my God, he's gone. He's gone. And really like emotionally, like feel it as though it actually happened. If we all manifest it, guys, we have the power to get rid of him. So I am telling you, I am going to be lighting a candle, which I have for each and every one of us. And I am going to be putting out the positive vibe for everything to be okay for America. And the only way that's going to be okay is if Trump leaves in August. <laughs> okay. I ha uh, okay, that's enough, guys. <laughs> I'm glad I did this reading. That was crazy shocking. Okay. So wishing you light for your darkness. And I'm telling you guys, energies have changed. Things are happening. It's going to be a few months of really hard, but it's going to be okay. Get out and vote, vote, vote. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. Bye.